to clip or not to clip? That is the question. <laughs> Why am I bringing this up? Well, you know, I, I have some time. I go around periodically at IMDb and look at young actors and what they're posting on their IMDb page. And a lot of them have either a demo reel. Is that you? That demo reel is either too long or it's a homemade demo reel. Now, what I mean by homemade, what the actors have done is that they've had somebody do a scene with them. And they're the only ones you see on the camera. You hear the other person that they're doing the this, this scene with, but you only see the one person because it's their clip, right? They want their work scene. Wrong. Please don't do that. Why? Because acting is about reacting. And what we're really interested in seeing is your reactions off of another person. And the other person or the other actor gives what you do credibility. It validates what you've just said or what you just did. You get it? If you're going to do something that you're making on your own, make sure that it's flipped to the other actor, then back to you, back to the other actor, so it has that tennis game of life going on. It not only creates a sense of reality, but at the same time, it gives you that very important process of reacting to what the other actor is saying. The way Breakdown works, Breakdown Express in particular, is that when the casting directors, managers submit their clients for a role, there are files set up for each particular show or casting director that's being done for each particular project. And those people with agents who are in the union, who have clips, go on a top tier, a top layer uh, of the submissions. And it's not often that the casting directors drop below that first tier. So the fact that you're in the union and you're represented and you have clips is very, very important. Now, what kind of demo reel? Well, this is my demo reel. <laughs> it's a little long. It's very hard to ship this to the agents. They never seem to open this up, but this is my demo reel. It runs about two and a half hours long, right? That's the worst thing you can do is have a demo reel that's so long that nobody's ever going to watch it because these people are busy. They have so many submissions, and none, none of this that I'm saying to you should discourage you in any way at all. So what if there's a lot of actors out there? There's only one of you, and that's all that counts. The, the trick is to use your determination and tenacity to get where you want to go. Work hard. But other than the numbers of actors out there, you've got to cut through that. They're not going to watch a demo reel. Those things are, are really passe. So you cut your demo reel down from two and a half hours to two and a half minutes. This is a little bit better. I, I, I know it's film, but I'm trying to give you an example here of something, okay? So let's say I cut my demo reel down to two and a half minutes, which is typical for a demo reel. What I really want to do is a clip of my work and post that on Actors Access, wherever you want to post it, IMDB, and you label it attorney, doctor, nurse, mafia chief, so that when you're submitting for a specific role, you submit in your profile your headshot and the clip of you as a nurse. So now they can see you in the role and they can see it in a very short period of time. More importantly, they can see your work. Does that make a lot of sense to you? Where am I getting this information from? Well, the Virtual Channel Network, the very network website you are watching right now with me, is owned by Breakdown Services. And the very thing I'm talking to you about comes from our illustrious leader in Kingfish, Gary Marsh, owner of Breakdown Services, Inc., and Showfax, and Virtual Channel Network, and all the rest of it casting about. And he knows. He's worked with his mother was an agent. And he knows this business, and he knows the changes that take place in this business. Casting directors, agents, and managers don't want to sit through a bunch of footage like I already mentioned to you. They want to cut right to the chase. They're busy. They want to look at the clip, look at your work, and get on with it and make the choices. And that's how it works, guys. You have to be a smart actor. You have to be able to do two things in this business. Your ability to be a good marketing strategist and being a good actor. And please... Clips, not demo reels, and as many clips as you can put together. We'll see you next week here on The Coaching Corner. I'm R.J. Adams along with the Southern Sector of the Actors Workshop. We'll see you next time.